Hello and welcome to Talk Games CB and welcome back here to the channel guys and in today's video we are going to be assessing the big Big question, and for me it is a massive one, how Barcelona can improve their away performances. That is absolutely massive for us right now, and of course you want to improve all kinds of performances, but for me, it's away from home. It's when it really comes down to it, when we leave the camp now, when we go elsewhere, we simply do not step up. For many, many reasons, we're going to be talking about them today, Barcelona, and particularly Ernesto Valverde, have to improve. Let's do this. Because of course guys, we have started the season with two away games out of our opening three games. And in those two away games, we have simply not performed. We've fallen flat and ultimately we have dropped points. First and foremost, heading to San Mamés against Athletic Club, a difficult place to go and we fell flat. A 1-0 defeat left us there on the opening night of the season, disappointed and Barcelona with many, many things to work on. And of course, very, very recently there, heading to Osasuna, heading to Pamplona, newly promoted side we're dropping more points a 2-2 draw once again we went behind in the game we leveled it up we went in front but no we couldn't hold on we drew the game 2-2 more drop points and certainly there is room to improve and let me just be clear here guys this video is not just based on those two games because in those two games you could certainly make the argument that Barcelona were missing several key players and I've got no doubt about that no doubt in my mind there that Barcelona are missing those key players and it would affect any team in the world I could completely understand that. But looking at last season, looking at the season before, under Ernesto Valverde, we have a record, you think about the Champions League, going away from home and failing. Failing to perform. And in today's video, it's so, so important that we analyse why, because it's something we have to improve if we want to fight for all competitions. And my first point right here and now is all about mentality. And that is one of the constants right throughout today's video that we are going to discuss. The mentality first and foremost of Ernesto Valverde and also the there, the mentality that passed down to the starting eleven that's out there on the field. But I want to talk here about the mentality for the team in general, the team really that go out there onto the field in an away game, because for me, it's a completely different team and a completely different mindset to those that play at the camp now in front of 98,000 fans and who often play very, very well at home. And it then looks like a completely different team when we go away from home. That should not be the case. That should never, ever happen. You shouldn't see two different teams. You shouldn't see a home team, you shouldn't see an away team. There should be no change in mentality between playing at home and playing away. The team there that goes out at the camp now, that's full of confidence, that's full of desire, that wants to work hard, that wants to score goals, that wants to succeed, that should be exactly the same. Those same principles should be in place in away games. You shouldn't they go to an away game and feel differently. You shouldn't feel there like you're not going to run as much, you're not going to try and perform as much just because it's not at home, it's not in front of your own fans and maybe it almost feels as though sometimes we're intimidated and again, that should not be the case. Home performances, away performances, it should be the same story. It should be the same team, the same mentality, the same mindset that goes out there when there's a game of football on. Go out there and do what you do best. Go out there, perform as a team, come together as a team, whether it be at the camp now, whether it be away, there should be be no change. And then building on from that, my second point would be all about intensity. And this is something I speak about all the time when you're talking about Ernesto Valverde's teams. It's all about intensity because quite simply, away from home, just like I said there, at the camp now we can be running around, we can be full of urgency, full of intensity there, really whipping up the home crowd, going for it. But then away from home, it completely disappears. You go out there, they start the game, it's all slow, it's lethargic, it's like they don't even want to be there. And a lot of the time, we start so badly in games. Away performances, we start really, really badly, and that's the biggest mistake. As soon as you start badly, you're then saying to the opposition, the home team, well go on then, what have you got? And quite often or not, those teams will respond, athletic club, as the game went on, and on, and on, as we started to let them in the game, started to give them there that confidence, suddenly then, they started to believe. When you give them that chance there to think, you know what, maybe they don't want it today, maybe Barcelona are there for the taking, those teams, they'll snatch that chance. They will. Every single time. They're the underdog. The underdog thrive upon going
going for it against the odds. And Barcelona, time and time and time and time again, away from home, they just open that door. They open that door there for the opposition and the home crowd to get in the game. Don't do that. How about don't start badly? How about there, start with some intensity? How about start with some energy? And actually there, take the game to the opposition. Because then, it's a completely different story. Then, if you start well, if you really start passing the ball around with some purpose, with some intensity, then the home players are thinking, oh no, this is Barcelona here, now we're in some trouble. And the home crowd, they'll start feeling that too. The second that you allow those opposition players and the opposition crowd into that game, then the home advantage starts to come for the team that we're facing. And that shouldn't happen. Take that away, start the game stronger, start the game with more intensity, take that chance away from your opposition and you will see away games just become that bit easier. But look, at the end of the day, guys, when you go out there onto the football field, it's 11 versus 11. You can talk about all the fancy tactics you want. You can talk about all the millions that have been spent on transfers and the millions that are spent every single week on the players' wages. But at the end of the day, you have to do the basics right. And that's what I want to talk about here. I want to highlight there, in those opening two games, away at Athletic and then away at Osasuna, two blatant moments in that game where it changed, where suddenly we were on the back foot as a result of basic, basic errors. And it's not good enough. It's not good enough, not just Barcelona level, but any level of football, this defending, this level of defending, it should not happen. And it's all about stopping the cross. If you play Sunday League, if you play any form of football, whether it's in school, any sort of league, you will have been told as a defender, as a midfielder, as a wide man tracking your man back, stop the cross. That is a basic fundamental there of any football team. And we just don't seem to want to do it. We just don't seem to want to be able there to stop the ball coming in. Because you look at it here, on the right hand side against Athletic Club, the ball is played in behind, Dembele there, and also there the full back have been drawn out. They should there be tracking that man. They should be stopping that cross, giving everything to stop that ball coming in. That is their main concern, not about scoring goals, not about getting forward. In that moment, stop that ball. Because if you stop that ball there, there's no danger. If you stop that ball there, there's nothing to worry about going on in the box. You don't have to worry about it because you've done your job. But no, the ball comes in, we don't stop the cross, we don't defend it well, the ball comes in, and suddenly then, once again, you're giving a chance to the opposition to do something special. Adaris produces a wonderful, wonderful moment, and it's a brilliant goal, but it all could have been stopped there on the right-hand side. And you know what? Just have a look at this, because it happened exactly the same sort of situation against Osasuna. It's on the right-hand side, it's Clement Longley there, who's gone out to meet his man, he's trying to stop the cross, but again, it's a failure. It's a failure there to stop that ball coming in, put it out for a corner, put it out for a throw-in, do whatever you have to do to stop that ball coming in, but no, it doesn't stop it, the ball comes in, and once again, you're given the opportunity there for a player coming in to do something special. This time it's Roberto Torres, it's a wonderful finish, the ball is allowed to go so so far there. Again, poor defending in the area. We're not tracking our men. We're not doing the basics right. And those are two goals there that could have been very, very easily presented. And they're big goals. They're big opening goals in away games for those teams that could have been prevented there by doing the basics right. It's simple stuff. It really, really is. But we're just not doing it. But above all else, you are looking, in this instance, square in the face at Ernesto Valverde. That is my final point here, of course. You can talk again about the players out on the field who have to do more, but at the end of the day, it's Valverde. It's Valverde there who sets the mentality. It's Valverde there who has to really rile those players to give everything. He's got to get that intensity out of them. He has to force them to go into these away games and show no fear. Does he do that? I'm not so sure. Does he want to do that? I really don't know either. I don't know whether he's going to change. But at the end of the day, what he also has to do here is stop being so predictable. That's what I would say right now of Ernesto Valverde because the second in this team when you start to have those untouchables, the second that you start become predictable in your lineups, when you're picking the same team week in, week out, because even this season, yes, we've seen Rakitic drop to the bench, but in this come Roberto. Roberto has come in and he's been there every single game. You look at the back four, every single match preview this season, we've roughly been able to predict what Valverde's team would be and that's not really good. That is not a good thing when you're able there to easily predict what Valverde is going to do. You have to be changeable. You have to be there able to adapt to different situations and you can't be able to second guess a coach because if we're doing it, imagine there what the opposition are doing. They've got many, many people there looking at Barcelona, analysing the teams, analysing the players and before we even turn up, many a time you know what Valverde is going to do. Stop being predictable because in these kind of games, in away games, opposition coaches will come up with a plan. 
plan. They'll come up with a plan to stop us, to play around us, to hit us on the counter. If you're predictable, if they know what's coming, they can act on that. Valverde there has to be changeable. He's got to actually open up his mind, have an open mind there about the players that he wants to choose. He's got to give different players a chance. You look at somebody like Carlos Alenia, he's been cast out of the squad. I don't really understand why. You look at Arthur Mello, who was only introduced there in the second half against Osasuna, and you're asking the question, why is that happening? Even Frank de Jong, he's being played out of position. You've got to do things right. You've got to play the right players. And ultimately, you've got to have a squad of players there that you can feel comfortable using each of them. It doesn't have to be the same team. Week in, week out, and no untouchables. There should not be any player in that team who's guaranteed a start. Not on this team, not on any team. Valverde has to wise up. So that there is my thoughts, guys, on how Ernesto Valverde and Barcelona in general can improve in their away performances. And believe me, they have to do that. In the Champions League, when it really comes down to it, in the group stage even, with Dortmund, Inter, we've got some tough away games coming up, some big European nights, and we're going to need to step up, and we're going to have to change if we're going to be a success. What do you think? What changes do they need to make? Do you agree with me? And why? Let me know in the comments down below. And all we can do right now is hope for better, hope for change, and hopefully, of course, those injured players coming back in, they'll make a difference too. Thank you for watching, and until next time, as always, Vizca El Barça. Oh, yeah.